Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of math review. Today we're going to be looking at patterns through practice points uh, number 18 page 2. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right here we have a pattern that involves a chart and it says the chart below shows the cost of movie tickets. One ticket is five dollars, two is ten, three is fifteen dollars, four is twenty dollars, five is twenty five dollars, and nine we have a question mark. We don't know. So the question says, if the pattern continues, how much will nine tickets cost? Well, there's a few ways to do this. We can either just keep writing out the pattern until we get to the ninth term. And if we did that, it would be like this, six, seven, eight, nine for number of tickets. And then the cost would be over here. And since it, we notice it's going up by five every time, the next logical amount would be 30, then 35, then 40 and then 45. So that's our answer if we get it this if we do it this way. We also though can look and see, oh wow, one ticket is five, two is ten. Therefore, we times the number of tickets by five dollars. If we do that every time, we're getting that result that comes over here. So if we bring that down to times nine tickets, we can also then find the answer to be forty-five dollars. For question number two, we have a pattern, and we need to figure out what's happening to the numbers. Once we do that, we'll be able to figure out what the next two numbers are going to be. So, to go from 2 to 4, and then 4 to 8, 8 to 16, one thing I notice is that it's getting bigger. So it's definitely either adding or multiplying. The other thing I notice is that it doesn't go up by the same amount of numbers each time. It isn't plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. It's actually going up by a different amount. So it can't be addition, it has to be multiplication. What am I timesing by? 2 times 2 would give me 4, but let's check to make sure that pattern keeps going. 4 times 2 would give me 8, 8 times 2 would give me 16, and 16 times 2 would give me 32. So I just need to times by 2 to keep my pattern going. If I do 32 times 2, I'm going to end up getting 64. That's going to go right here. If I do 64 times 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, 128 goes in our next spot. That's the pattern. Now when we come down to picture patterns, we always want to find the core pattern. And we can do that by looking at where does the pattern start to repeat. So we have sun, cloud, snow, sun, cloud, snow, sun. Well I'm noticing that after the snowflake, it starts over again at cloud. So my core pattern is right here, these first three. This is what repeats over and over again. If I know that, I don't have to draw out all the shapes to get to the 12th shape like the question asks. I can actually do a trick and I'll show you. What you do is you can place a tally mark under each of the shapes and count with that way to the shape number you need, which in this case is 12. So one, two, three, repeat. Four, five, six, repeat. 7, 8, 9, repeat, 10, 11, 12. When I put my 12 tally mark, I was underneath the snowflake. So what is that 12 shape going to be? It is going to be a snowflake. You can either draw out a version of a snowflake or you can write the word. We're going to do the exact same thing. This time we're looking for the 11th shape. We need to find that core pattern. So we have shirt, glasses, hat, dress. Shirt, glasses, hat. I notice that the pattern stops and begins repeating after the dress because it goes shirt, glasses, hat, dress. You should be able to follow along right after each of these and it should be the same. Okay, so I'm going to do my tally marks again to the 11th um, picture this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. My 11th shape is going to be a hat. Now, if you don't want to draw it, you can also write hat. Okay, either way will work. So there you go. That's page two of practice points number 18, discussing patterns. If you have any questions, remember to ask your teacher.